I had made a conscious decision not to uh, make any uh, further videos regarding uh, Bill Cosby until after the uh, trial. And trust me, there's going to be a trial and there's going to be a verdict uh, regarding uh, his arrest in Pennsylvania. But uh, I had decided not to make any uh, more videos and try to keep my commentary on other people's videos to a minimum uh, waiting for the, uh, the verdict here. Now, just to get the little housekeeping out of the way, I believe that Bill Cosby's innocent. Do I believe that he had sex with a whole bunch of uh, women? Absolutely. But do I believe that he raped anybody? No, I don't. Uh, do I believe that he gave any type of quaaludes or anything else to anybody without their knowledge? Not for a second. But again, I don't have any proof of it, but, and they're going to have to show proof that he actually did it and how they're going to show that other than, you know, a whole bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon. I, I don't know. But anyway, a lot of, uh, uh, people have their own opinions about this, but, uh, you're looking at an image of Jamala Lemu, uh, Lemieux, I'm sorry, and she is the Ebony Magazine uh, senior editor. I want you to get to know that name and get to recognize that face. She, again, is the uh, Ebony Magazine senior editor, and if you didn't know it, Ebony Magazine is owned by Time Inc., which is a subsidiary of Time Warner, which obviously is a, a white-owned uh, me mega communications uh, corporation. Now, I'm showing you this face because she made a comment uh, both on um, Melissa Harris Perry's show and also this morning on uh, MSNBC Live with Thomas Roberts that uh, totally ticked me off. So I'm going to start with uh, pictures of various other people and um, just pose a question. The image you see in front of you is an image of Roman Polanski. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, uh, you won't know that Roman Polanski was accused of pedophilia with a minor girl. He left the country for a long period of time. After the statute of limitations ran out, he came back and was allowed to uh, make movies and had various uh, people supporting him, including personalities such as Whoopi Goldberg and Brian Singer, who I'm going to uh, show his image shortly, uh, supporting uh, his right to come back and make movies and not be sanctioned whatsoever. The next picture I'm going to show you is that of Woody Allen. Woody Allen was accused of pedophilia by his own kids, yet his movies still play to this day. He's never uh, been charged, even though uh, his kids uh, made the uh, accusations well within the statute of limitations. And this guy uh, had the nerve to marry his own, uh, his own uh, stepchild or adopted child. Uh, I forget which it is. The next person you're going to see is Stephen Collins. He is uh, better known for his uh, Seventh Heaven uh, show and also uh, he's a he appeared in the first uh, Star Trek movie. His Seventh Heaven show is still showing on uh, TV and various in various syndications. And he has publicly acknowledged that he is a pedophile. The next picture is that of Brian Singer. Anybody that knows uh, Anything about uh, Marvel comics and uh, Marvel movies knows that Brian Singer uh, is the uh, one of the directors of uh, one of the X, one of the uh, Marvel franchises, the X Men, and uh, he is an accused pedophile with current 
uh, lawsuits going left and right. But uh, obviously, the X-Men movies are still going strong, being shown uh, in various syndications, both on uh, public TV and cable channels. The next picture you should obviously recognize, that's Bill Cosby. And he's been accused by uh, various women of uh, slipping them drugs without their knowledge uh, and having uh, unauthorized or inappropriate sexual contact with them. Now, um, he has claimed innocence in all of this. There's a court case going, and that's basically what I will say about him. Now, back to this woman. All of the uh, previous pictures of uh, all of the people accused of uh, pedophilia, all of those people are still uh, gainfully employed. Uh, their movies, TV shows, etc., are still being shown on free over-the-air TV, and also um, you can stream um, you know, various movies or TV shows. Miss Lemieux stated uh, on Sunday, and again this morning, that Bill Cosby's uh, TV shows, cartoons, etc., should not be shown over the air for free. She didn't say anything about the, the right to stream his shows, but and as a matter of fact, she specifically said the only way that uh, Bill Cosby's shows should uh, be seen is if you have to pay for them uh, through Hula, Netflix, etc. But uh, that you should take offense if you were able to view the shows for free. I got a major problem with that. If she's jumping up on her high horse about uh, all of those shows that uh, Bill Cosby has made or is associated with should not be readily available to the public and to allow the public to make their own decisions. Where is she and why hasn't she said anything about the Roman Polanski's films, Woody Allen's films, uh, Stephen Collins' uh, TV shows, or uh, any of the uh, Brian Singer projects, such as the X-Men? In my mind, this is a double standard, but I, I could expect no less because the company she works for, which is Ebony Magazines, is owned by Time Warner. So uh, she's basically parroting what Time Warner wants to have said. My problem with this is Ebony Magazine is supposedly a representation of the ideals of its readers, which are primarily black Americans. But the idea that uh, Bill Cosby should be shunned and shut away and uh, his uh, projects and endeavors uh, cost people money to view, whereas all of the uh, other four uh, people that I previously mentioned should be uh, easily available uh, on public TV, to me, is a bunch of crap. Now this woman, in my opinion, really doesn't know uh, much and basically reads a script of what the people above her, i.e. Time Warner, once said uh, in blackface. She got into an altercation with uh, Juan Williams of Fox fame. And again, I have no love for uh, Mr. Williams but uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Williams was defending Ben Carson and his views. This woman didn't know enough to realize that Juan Williams is a black man, so she was tweeting back and forth with him and happened to mention that uh, she didn't have time for a, a white person's opinion. Then when she basically was informed about her error, she came back and gave a half-hearted apology, but then kept going. So um, as far as I'm concerned, this woman has no uh, credence, uh, no, uh, just straight out should not have uh, been allowed a forum 
on uh, TV to express the views of a company that, in my opinion, is basically uh, one of the uh, top five uh, in control of ma mainstream media. But that's just my opinion.